Hello, welcome to Joykill Collective Productions. So the topic today is why you should use or consider using DaVinci Resolve as your first video editor. Now this topic comes to mind because a friend of mine recently wanted to start a YouTube channel and needed to get to grips with, you know, just basic video editing and considered the usual suspects, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, you know, anything pro. And I, I kind of thought it was worth considering DaVinci Resolve, which, although it's considered a very professional sort of piece of software, maybe people would consider quite complicated to use. Um, I didn't think this was necessarily the case, as actually the basic kind of importing video, cutting up some video, adjusting that video a bit, and then exporting it as a final product is actually no more complicated. In fact, probably easier than most of the other video editors. Um, but then you have all the more in-depth color grading and audio editing and special effects kind of um, aspects to it that to delve into as you go along, you know, or not if, the, if that doesn't interest you at all, you could just use it as a basic editor. So the main reason I would suggest DaVinci Resolve as your first video editor is it is free. And um, that is the first and biggest reason to be fair. Now there is a paid version, the studio version, that comes in at £300 or $300, um, which has some improvements over the free version, but actually not a great deal. You would expect the, the difference between the two to be quite great, but essentially there's a few um, video effects, a few audio effects, um, the ability to work in file sizes above 4K. So if, if you're working in 8K footage or something, I mean, it probably, you probably wouldn't be looking for your first video editor, but if, if you are, then you know you need the studio version. The paid for studio version does include um, noise reduction and video stabilization tools, but essentially it's 95% the same program. Um, and I used the free version for a couple of years, actually. The next reason I would consider uh, suggesting DaVinci to you is it does everything you need straight away and it does everything in you need no matter how advanced you get from cutting up basic footage to you know Hollywood level color grading sound design special effects and gr motion graphics obviously that would be a lot to take in from day one um, but if you wanted to to delve in further um, then there's you know infinite sort of scope to to do that so following the fact that it's free it is a fully featured video editor so your edit timeline is where you will spend a lot of the time cutting up your project. And the next reason would be this tab here, the color tab, um, where you can do kind of either basic or even Hollywood level advanced color grading and everything in between. You might first want to use this page when balancing out some shots. If you got one shot too bright, one shot too dark, you can correct that easily here. Or if you need to tint the color temperature or, or anything like that of your video, it's, it's really easy to do. The next reason that you would want to consider DaVinci Resolve is the Fusion page. This you probably will not want to use from day one. Um, it's more kind of advanced motion graphics and video graphics and and that sort of thing but it's great that it's in there it's very powerful very fully featured and you know you could spend hours on that um, or not you could just dip into it for a bit of text or or something simple the next reason for using DaVinci Resolve as your editor would be this Fairlight page now Fairlight is an audio editing program that's been integrated within DaVinci so again within the same one program you can edit you can color grade you can do all your audio really to a professional level as you, you know develop your skills and the next reason well I say reason I mean all, all the editors do this is you can export your footage into a final video file in, in this deliver tab here it's uh, very simple to use there's even presets like YouTube and uh, tell it where you want it to save it give it a name and click render all here boom Right, so if you enjoyed that basic introduction, then uh, you know remember to subscribe, like, and hit that bell thing that all the other YouTubers say, um, and look out for more DaVinci videos coming soon, and check out my channel videos to see a whole host of free, copyright-free, downloadable music that you can use on your YouTube videos or your films or your creations um, with no associated costs or, or anything. Just use it as you want, do as you want. So uh, enjoy and let me know how this video was in the comments. It's my first little kind of tutorial video. Um, I'm looking to build a, a series of them. So look out for more soon.